Hi, this is Andy for Aqua from Aquatic Source for Michigan Pool News. This month we're talking about the Ac AccuTab chlorination system. Uh, the components that this thing has is we have the chlorinator in itself, which this is a 150 pound unit. We have the inlet valve. The inlet valve comes through with a Y strainer to prevent any debris from getting into the solenoid valve that's controlled by your controller on the wall. The water comes through, goes through a solenoid valve. When the controller calls for water and feeding chlorine, it'll open up the solenoid valve, let the water in through the flow meter, in through the adjustment valve, and from there it goes through the chlorine uh, feeder against the tablets, and it'll drop down into the holding tank. Inside the holding tank, we have a float operated valve. This is a plastic valve that maintains water in the bottom so that you can control how much chlorine goes in. It's picked up by the booster pump, goes through a secondary check or another check valve, and an output adjustment valve. This controls how fast the chlorinator is taking liquid out of the holding tank. From there, it goes through. We put in a secondary weighted check valve just as a precautionary, especially if you're in the basement. And from there it goes out to the, egg, the uh, effluent valve or the return valve back to the pool. We also installed a bypass valve. This we use for secondary cleaning. And when you do an installation, we use this to help clean the inside of the chlorinator after it's been used for a while. Uh, I will turn the unit on so you can see how it operates. Water in turns coming up. As soon as the water in the tank goes down, the solenoid valve will open, letting water to come up through the flow meter. Okay, this is throttled down real low. As the water goes through the feeder, comes back, drops out through the three-inch pipe into the holding tank, and it's being picked up as chlorinated water through the pump, and it's just returned back to the pool. This will cycle on and off with your automatic chemical controller. Uh, these are the three inch tablets that are inside the feeder. We can take the lid off and the water only hits the bottom uh, tablets that are on the bottom. The rest of it is all storage. Always keep the lid on and the tablet containers that you have when you're done using them, make sure you rinse them out three times before you do anything with disposal. Rinse them out with water. You can actually use the, uh, the water. You can put it back into the pool or make sure it's diluted. Again, this is Andy from Michigan Pool News and Aquatic Source. Thank you.